lysosomes and mitochondria. In this video, we will learn about lysosomes and mitochondria. First, let us look at lysosomes in the cell. These are lysosomes. Let us see the structure and functions of lysosomes. Lysosomes are sac-like organelles. Lysosomes are covered by a membrane outside and filled by a fluid inside. This fluid contains digestive enzymes. Now let us see the functions of lysosomes. Their main function is to clean the waste and unwanted materials inside the cell. They work as a waste disposal system of the cells. What kind of waste materials are found inside the cell? Sometimes a bacteria or virus or some undigested food particle enters the cell. This is considered as a waste and it has to be removed. Sometimes the parts of the cell are damaged or worn out. These parts are also considered as a waste or unwanted material. These kind of materials are cleared by lysosomes. Sometimes if a cell is damaged, the cellular components try to repair it. Like proteins and fats from endoplasmic reticulum, they are diverted to repair the cell. But if the damage is beyond the repair, then lysosomes help the cell to self-destruct. Lysosomes burst and the digestive enzymes present in them, they will digest the components of the cell. That is why lysosomes are called as suicide bags. Mitochondria these are mitochondria. Let us see the structure and functions of the mitochondria. Mitochondria are double membraned organelles. Each mitochondria has two membranes. One outer membrane and one inner membrane. The outer membrane is porous. That means it has pores. The inner membrane is deeply folded. Do you know why the inner membrane of mitochondria is deeply folded? Mitochondria need more surface area to carry some special reactions in which a special energy molecule called ATP is produced. So, to provide more surface area, the inner membrane is deeply folded. Now, let us see what are ATP. ATP adenosine triphosphate. These are the energy rich molecules. In our cells, many reactions takes place and all these reactions, they need energy. And in our cell, there are so many new materials are produced. So for the production of these new materials also, ATP are required. That's why ATP are called as cell currency or energy currency of cell. Generally, in a cell, nucleus has DNA and it passes the information to the cell organelles like endoplasmic reticulum to make proteins necessary for cellular activities. That means all the cell organelles, they follow the instructions of the nucleus. But here, in case of mitochondria, it is a bit different. Mitochondria they have their own DNA and ribosomes. So, they can manufacture some of their own proteins. That's why mitochondria are sometimes called as strange organelles. This is all about lysosomes and mitochondria. Thanks for watching. Please like the video. Please share this video with your friends. Please subscribe to Great Booster channel. Press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. Check the description to find links of other useful videos. Check the end screens for our new videos.